just a regular old two gallon or one gallon boxwood that you get at your garden center. I'm going to start working on it and if I run out of time on Instagram you can see the entire process on my YouTube channel. So hop on over there to see the completed work and also subscribe if you like these tutorials. So basically I just, I think I got this one at Home Depot and what I love about this is you're taking something that's kind of scraggly and unwanted and you're going to turn it into something that is really sophisticated looking. So what do I look for in terms of, of a good potential in a scraggly plant? Well, if you look here, you can see that this has a really strong single stem. I don't have multiple stems that come up that then I try to kind of torture so they'll grow into one. I look for a single stem or at the most two really strong stems or really strong trunks. And I also want them to be straight, as straight as possible. If it's not straight, a little bit of that can be corrected when you actually pot it into your planter. So where do I start? Well, I typically start from the bottom and I start taking off some of the unwanted branches and I use pruners that are a little bit more substantial. Later I'll probably use my scissors, but I start removing some at the bottom because what makes it look like a topiary is exposing this really straight trunk and this is going to be what's called a lollipop form it's going to be like a sucker there's going to be a round shape a spherical shape on the top and then here is the trunk so i'm just removing those bottom ones you can see how it's exposing the stem and the trunk and I'm trying to get as close as I can to the trunk itself so I don't have too many little nubs because I want it to look as refined as possible. And then I need to decide really what shape I want the top to be and if I want to include or not include portions of the canopy of the greenery and the foliage. And so here it's kind of decision time, I can leave this one on, in which case the stem will just be about two inches long. If I remove this one, the stem, the trunk will be longer and the topiary will be taller. And I really want it to have more of a dramatic topiary shape. So I am going to lose this one. Don't be afraid to do that because even though it's not going to look perfect initially, eventually it will. As it grows out, it'll become a lot more uniform. I might save this to try to root it and make another topiary. And then, do I want to keep this one or lose it? I think I'm going to lose this one too. See how that lengthens the trunk? Okay. Now I've already got kind of a lollipop form, but the top looks very scraggly and unkempt. So then I'm trying to decide how large do I want the ball on top to be, and I'm gonna make my initial cut, I think about right here. Paige, can you see this? Can our viewers see it? I'm just starting to establish that ball shape. And while it's not going to look perfect, as I said at first, like a perfect topiary, by the end of the summer it'll be pert near close. It does take a little time in investigatory work when you're in your garden center to find just the right scraggly boxwood. This one, I may have said, is a Green Mountain. Green Mountain and Baby Gem are my favorite varieties to work with. I can make it look even more exaggerated in form at the top by lowering the top portion and making it look even more spherical. Oh, 
I'm not paying attention to whether or not I'm cutting between leaf nodes. Um, if I'm severing the leaf itself, I really don't care. It's very forgiving and it will grow out just beautifully. If there are any dead leaves, dead stems, dead foliage on the interior, then at this point you can remove them. I'm doing just that. The other great thing about buying scraggly boxwood is that they're often on sale at the end of the season, so that's a great time to look for them. So like all pruning, you periodically want to turn it around so you get all vantage points. Sometimes there'll be just that one cut you're waiting for that pulls it all together. But in pretty short order, we have made a lollipop topiary, boxwood topiary, out of, I think, a $6 plant. When I'm finished, as it's growing, I will feed it with an organic liquid fertilizer. I like a spoma. As I've said earlier, I like um, their fish emulsion. It's gentle and it works fast. And that will, the pruning itself makes it flush out new growth. It's a signal. Pruning is a signal to put out new growth. I mulch most of my topiary in gravel to keep the squirrels out. And I can just blow off all my clippings without blowing away the gravel to tidy it up. And there you have it. In almost no time, a topiary from as I said, a $6 plant. I might straighten it up a little bit with a stake, but it's that easy peasy. And then to make it really more beautiful, you can underplant it with something. This is an Ogun sedum. So there you go, a topiary out of a shrub from your garden center.